What's up guys, Shane Starnes here, and if you've swapped over from an Android to an iPhone or from an iPhone to an Android, one of the issues that you might be running into is restoring data from either of those phones to your new phone. Today we're going to be taking a look at Wondershare's WhatsApper. This is going to allow you to transfer WhatsApp data from Android to iOS and vice versa. Big shout outs to Wondershare for sponsoring this video. Let's go ahead and get started. A few things to consider here before we get started transferring our WhatsApp data from our Android to our iPhone. You do want to make sure that both phones have plenty of charge. You also want to make sure that the phone you're transferring to has plenty of storage. If the storage is full all your files may not be transferred properly. All right, you're also going to need an OTG cable, so one with a USB-C end and a lightning end, because we're gonna be connecting to our Android and our iPhone at the same time. You can pick this up at places like Best Buy, Walmart, uh, model price or even Amazon. A Type-C to Lightning cable also comes with most modern iPhones. So we're gonna start things off on our Android phone. We're just gonna launch the WhatsApp or application. You can pick this up in the Play Store for free. Uh, just type in WhatsApp or you can use the link in the description and then you'll go ahead and open up this application. You're gonna wanna go ahead and give it all the proper permissions and then we're simply just going to click start. For this video, we're gonna go Android to iPhone. All right, it says that it doesn't detect any WhatsApp backup data and it's going to give us a tutorial, but I'm gonna quickly show you how to do it right now. All right, so we'll open up our WhatsApp. We'll click on the three dots here. We're gonna click on settings. We're gonna click on chats. We're gonna click on chat backup, and then we're gonna click on backup. Just give it a few minutes to backup all of your chats. All right, from there, we're gonna go back to the WhatsApp or application and select backup completed. All right, from here, we're gonna go ahead and enter in our mobile number that we used for the WhatsApp backup. All right, we'll go ahead and enter our code there, and that's going to start the parsing process. You can see here we have all of the files to be transferred and we'll go ahead and select next. All right, so this is going to bring up the payment screen. Um, it is a one-time fee of $18.99. This gives you unlimited devices for a full year. Or you can try 50 messages for free just to see how it works with your devices. Uh, you could try it and then if you have more content that you need to restore on your new phone, then maybe you would want to do the one-time purchase. So you do have two options here. You can use the USB-C to lightning cable if you have one. If you don't, don't worry. You can actually do an option that doesn't require the USB-C to lightning cable uh, by installing the desktop toolkit. So if you use this option, it does give you a link uh, that you'll input into your desktop to download the desktop version. We're gonna use the cable to get our content transferred. All right, so we'll click on that option and we're going to go ahead and connect the two devices. Okay, so one thing that I noticed is very important that you use the actual cable that came with your iPhone. I was trying to use a third party cable. I wasn't able to get this message, which is what we have to have. We got to give permission to the iPhone to connect to the Android. So we'll say, okay, and we'll trust it on the iPhone and we'll go ahead and enter the iPhone's passcode. Okay, it looks like we do also have to turn off find my iPhone before moving forward. So the way that you're gonna do that is you're gonna head into settings. You're gonna to go to your Apple ID. You're gonna go, you'll go to find my, go to on and turn that off. All right, once that's turned off, we'll click turned off and then it's gonna to begin to transfer all of your data and your files from WhatsApp on your Android over to your iPhone. All right, so it says that the transfer has been successful and now we'll have all of our files from WhatsApp on the Android over on our iPhone. All right guys, and it is that easy to transfer all your WhatsApp data from your Android over to your iPhone. Once again, big shout outs to Wondershare for sponsoring this video. You guys can grab the link to the application in the description below. Thanks guys for watching, be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.